All right, so last episode we checked the valve to valve and assembled the bottom end and all the pistons and now it's all ready. Yes, and now we assembled the head and the checking springs. This way we can degree it and set, set all the timing on the cam gear to how it wants on each lobe center for the intake and exhaust. So we're gonna degree this and of course, we're also gonna check the clay test initially so that we know the safety window. So hey, you know this one is gonna be crazy crazy fun so let's go <laughs> First of all, our new page is up and running and the link will be in the description below. We're going to keep mentioning this because we're trying to get the followers and the likes as much as the channel because, you know, we know it's the same thing that we all like. And you can see here we have the price list of even head porting, engine build, rebuild, cam degree, and even porting intake manifold and ECU tuning. We got the basic prices there so you guys can check it. And we post updates like... For example, when we build the bottom end, we post it there. Even the valve seals, when we're trying to restock it, we use super tech valve seals, even the previous build. And we talked about core shift and we posted it there and showed the differences. And so it's something that you guys will like. So I'll see you there, all right? Okay, now here, we're gonna clay test the engine because we've checked the valve to valve on the previous episode. So we know the certain window where we can play around with. So now we need to know up to how much advance we can do before hitting the piston with the valve. So here we are with the pictures. We set the clay on the valves itself. So this way we're gonna set it and advance it three degrees intake and three degrees exhaust to be sure. After one full turn, here it is. Sorry, I mean valve pockets on the, the clay on the valve pockets. So you can see here it, with the three degrees advance on the intake, it's getting close, but not too dangerous. So this is still good. So it looks like with three degrees advance, it's going to be near the limit. So our absolute limit is plus four on the intake, which we may not really see on the dyno itself. So here we cut up the, the clay in half just to see the difference or the actual thickness and you see the exhaust we didn't need to because it was already far so now let's degree this thing all right my colleague usually handles installing the cam degree kit and now it's all ready and all good the belt is correctly installed as you can see here now it's ready yes sir yes sir okay now here it is it's on top dead and here initially it's advanced three degrees that's because that's where we cleaned it right so now i gotta put this on zero but well you know put it back to zero zero so that you know that's where our starting point is when we degree okay so now here it is all zeroed out here's zero on the intake and zero on the exhaust so now let's start shall we all right here we go so write your note down okay we start with the exhaust of course because that's the first one in the sequence from top dead so just to save time keep going until the exhaust opens and then we stop at 0 0.050 wait let's switch the handle okay come on we keep going oh there it's moving now wait trying to fix the ratchet handle okay we stop slowly at 0 0.050 because if you go over it, you, you can't reverse it because the belt tension changes. So you just keep going counterclockwise. So we try not to go over it. There you go. All right. We stop it at 50. Now I can show you guys. Let me show you close. Here, let me unclip the phone. There you go. It's 50. And it's before bottom dead center. Okay, 47 all right okay now we continue and sorry if you guys can hear the rain i tried to tone down the volume but it's still raining okay we count the lift this way we don't get lost when it's, we we sometimes go over it when, on the closing point so we tend to count the lift per rotation this way we're sure like four okay three because one rotation is point one two one all right now it's gonna be point zero fifty we stop at 50. Come on, we switch the handle. Okay, be careful. 
There you go. Almost. Let's get right on the mark. Okay, there. Let me unclip the phone and show you guys. It's 50. Closing. So it's okay. It's 25 after top dead center. Before we continue with the intake and calculate the lobe center, if you're liking this video, hit the like button as this would help the algorithm see that there's more activity on the video and it spreads out to a wider audience. This way, our community gets bigger and bigger. So that really helps, guys. Every, every like that you guys press is really big thing for us. So I'm really thankful for that. And of course, and if you haven't, hit the subscribe button because it's going to update you whenever we have a new upload. So hit the button and of course, hit the notification bell. This way, whenever we have a new stuff, you get a on it right away and of course because we're going to make this another one of these into the membership only video because we're going to dyno this engine you guys know you gotta have that right so subscribe and like the video thanks guys okay now let's go with the intake sorry about the rain again guys so we keep going and we gotta we gotta make sure the in the exhaust starts the sequence first and then we wait for the intake to start okay we get it close to this we keep turning wait let's zero this out if you guys can hear the way the rain i'm sorry you know it's tropical country all right we keep going yes and then once we see there you go the exhaust starts now so wait until it's almost closing that's when the intake starts to open because of the overlap so we will stop at 0 0.050 so we keep going okay wait let's switch the handle all right come on we stop oh, there the intake starts moving now so we go slowly we stop at 0 0.050 almost there okay there Okay, let me show you. Let me unclip the phone and get close to that. Yes, 0 0.050. All right, the opening is, oh, 22 BTDC. Now let's continue. Keep going until we get the maximum lift and then we count it backwards. All right, come on, come on. Wait, let me switch the handle. Okay, come on. All right, nice. One, two, three, okay, one more, four, wait, come on, come on, four, okay, now we stop at 50, okay, slowly, careful, careful, okay, there, let me unclip the phone and show you guys, all right, here it is, at 50, yes, sir, yes, sir, and it's, Okay, 48. All right, now let's write it down. Okay, let's speed this up now. We'll write all the notes there. Okay, so now here we start with the opening of the intake is, um, wait, where's my notes? Oh, it's 22, all right? And the closing is 48 ABDC, all right? So the exhaust is uh, 47 BBDC and then 25 after top dead center okay now let's calculate this 22 plus 48 plus 180 is 250 duration divided by 2 is 125 minus 22 okay 103 lobe center here and the intake is 103 lobe center now let's calculate the exhaust 47 plus 25 plus 180 is 252 divided by 2 is 6 and 25 okay so it's 101 lobe center all right, so that's that's it. With zero, zero, and the cam gear, this is what we get. And we both know, or I've always mentioned to you guys, on the intake, when you advance it, the 103 loop center, the figure goes lower. So since we're shooting for 96 or 97 loop center, we're gonna advance it. And also the exhaust, because it needs to go up, all right? And here we are, you can see it's zero on the intake and zero on the exhaust. And because we get, we got to lower the lobe center down to at least 96 or 97, as Crower suggested, we have to advance the intake. And because the exhaust, we need to raise the lobe center, we're also going to advance it. So advance it three on the intake and advance three on the exhaust. So it's plus three plus three. All right, let's check it out. Yes, advance three on the intake, you can see there. 
and then I advance three on the exhaust, all right? So now let's go start this. Let's go, let's go. Okay, now we start with the exhaust opening, all right? That's the first in the sequence, so we go with the opening. We stop it at 0 0.050, there it's moving now. Okay, careful, we'll, we'll switch the handle. This way we don't go over, but we can do it gently. We stop at 0 0.050. Come on, come on. All right, there. Wait a bit. Okay, let me unclip the phone and show you guys. Here, it's running 0 0.050, and then it's, okay, 52. B, B, D, C. All right, now let's continue. Let's get the one, two, three, and then four on the lift, and then we count it backwards, so we stop at 0 0.050. Okay, we keep going. Okay, now here's four. Come on, come on. Oh, three, two, one. Okay, now we stop, we, we, we stop at 0 0.050. That's why I count that. Each turn is 0.1. Okay, we stop at 0 0.050. Come on. A little bit more. All right. Now let me unclip the phone and show you guys once again. Okay, here. Closing at 0 0.050. And it's... Okay, it's 20 ATDC. Now we go on with the intake, but we let the exhaust close first. All right, there's close. Now we have to wait for, for the intake to close. We continue turning it. Once it's closed, we gotta wait for the exhaust cycle to go in first, and then we stop it at 0 0.050 on the intake. All right, double check it's zero, all right. Okay, now it's gonna start on the exhaust. Yes, this air is starting. So now when the exhaust is about to close, that's when the intake starts to open. So we gotta wait for that. Come on, come on. Keep going. There, it's gonna close now. Now the intake is about to open any time now. There you go, now it's moving. Okay, just slowly. Wait, come on, come on. Switch the handle. Continue there. We stop at 0 0.050. Okay, careful. All right, there, let me unclip the phone and show you guys. Okay, it's 0 0.050. All right, and then the opening is, oh, it's 28 BTDC, all right? Now let's go with the closing. We continue opening it, one, two, three, four, and then we wait until it closes. Okay, come on, come on. Switch the handle again. One, two, three, four. Okay, now it's gonna be on the 50 now. Be careful, don't go over. Well, you can't, you just have to keep going for another full turn. We stop at 0 0.050 now. All right, show you guys. Let me unclip the phone and show you so that we can write it down on the desk. Let's look at it. Okay, it's 0 0.050. And then it's ABDC, so it's okay, 42 ABDC. Okay, here, sorry about the rain, guys. You guys can hear it. Let's what, clean our hands with alcohol. All right, just to be sure. Okay, now we write it down. So it's plus three on the intake. There, okay. And then it's BTDC and then ABDC, all right? Okay, now on the exhaust, it's plus three also. Plus three advanced, sorry. Plus three advanced on the exhaust. And then it's right down BBDC opening and then ATDC closing. Here you go. Okay. And then now we can write the opening and closing numbers and calculate with you guys. Okay. The opening on the intake is 28 BTDC. All right. And the closing is 42. Okay. And on exhaust, the opening is 52. BBDC and then the closing is also 20, 20 ATDC. So let's calculate this 28 plus 42 plus 180 is 250 divided by 2 is 1 to 1. Oh, perfect 97 lobe center on the intake. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. 
Okay, now let's compute the exhaust. It's 52 plus 20 plus 180 is 252 divided by 2, 126, 120. Okay, 106 lobe center on the exhaust. This is actually almost right on the money. I mean, you, you, you could opt for, let's say, 107 and 108 lobe center on the exhaust. That means you can advance it 4 or advance it 5. But the intake is right where we want it, 97. It could be 96, but that's like, you know, splitting hairs. It's like advancing it half a degree is going to be really difficult. And because we're going to dyno this, we'll be okay with that. And so here you go. And this is a perfect example because imagine we're using a Golden Eagle cam gear. So it's right. It's good, right? So imagine if you installed this zero on the intake and zero on exhaust, it would have been 103 lobe center on the intake and 101 on the exhaust. That would be quite far so of course you're gonna dyno and see where it makes power but it there's tough luck that you're gonna fall into the ideal load center unless you dyno for the next five hours straight so degreeing it like this you get the 97 load center on the intake and then 106 on the exhaust it saves you a lot of time and this way it tells you if the engine wants something or changes you would know on the dyno so of course we will have another video of exactly this engine with the 403 cams degreeing and the membership only because we're going to discuss about all the other things like for example how we will preset it and of course post dyno what it did and what it wanted and why it needed advancing or retard on the dyno where it made more power we actually have a video of that when we degree the 402 on a b16 and then dyno did we had a we have a post dyno video on the membership only and we discussed why this and why that so everything is good re really there so you guys have got to check it out and soon we'll have it then all right so we're gonna have the skunk 2 intake manifold welded because it's all done and as soon as we finish it we're gonna clean it up and of course we're gonna assemble the complete engine you can click it here